next, uh, our next performer is a gray-haired fellow who would look just like Kenny Rogers had the plastic surgery worked. Please welcome to the stage, Gary Essex. I wish I'd gone first and didn't have these unrealistic expectations. <laughs> it's scary being up here, I gotta be honest. But it's even more scary talking about aging. Sunday night, my daughter comes over, Father's Day, we're out in the backyard. She gives me a beautiful card. Open it up. Hi, Dad. Have a great time Tuesday. I love you. And there's something scratched out. I, I look over, I go, Amanda? What did you scratch out? She go, well, I scratched out break a leg. I said, well, why would you scratch out? Isn't that like good luck in the Broadway world? She goes, well, Dad, at your age, if you break a leg, you'll probably get pneumonia and die. <laughs> she is an only child. I love senior discounts. I used to like them a lot more when I really wasn't a senior and I had to ask for them to still get them. <laughs> now I give senior discounts without even asking. And I'll tell you, it's getting to the point, sometimes it's a matter of pride. I was out eating breakfast a couple of weeks ago, and the waitress comes by, pulls out a pen, marks off, puts a 10% discount. She goes, this is your good looking discount. I said, I feel violated. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I love music. My first concert was 1968. Eric Clapton and Cream here in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. Great show. I've been to hundreds of concerts, but I don't like going so much anymore. I walk in, I look around, there's a bunch of old people like me. You know. <laughs> Last summer, I go up to Red Rocks. I've been there countless times. But this time it's different. I get out and I look at that hill. And <laughs> All I can think about is the green mile. <laughs> that's like the walk you take, you know, before. But that's okay. That's, that's, that's okay. <laughs> so I said, man, there's no way. So I get on the shuttle bus, you know, with all the other old people, and we run up to the top of the amphitheater. We're getting out, we're jostling for the best seats at Red Rocks. You know, the ones right by the bathrooms. <laughs> great, great, great show. Neil Young. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and I, I wondered if there's anybody with a flashlight IDing people, because half of you can't be 21. <laughs> okay. Do you believe in magic? Great song. Do I believe in magic? Hell no. I've been to Las Vegas so many times, I don't even believe in luck. And I, I can't tell you how often that free buffet has cost me $500. And <laughs> I got to the point, I drive, by a, I drive by a golden corral, I break out in a cold sweat. And, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I used to love neighborhood shopping. Right? Neighborhood shopping, you got a car, you walk in, you know the area, you know where everything's at. Well, I don't like neighborhood shopping so much anymore because I'm afraid somebody might see me and they might look in my basket. Will they believe me when I tell them that, that the pins really are for my mom? <laughs> the the expando waistbands are, are a gag gift for a stag party? That's a lie, they're for me. And, and whoa, 50 shades of gray, how did that get in there? That must have slipped right in the basket. By the way, how's the family? <laughs> I, I used to think I hated technology. I don't hate technology. I just don't understand it. I was at work the other day, and one of, the, one of my coworkers was showing me a 4G phone. All of a sudden, my head started spinning. She's talking to the phone. The phone's talking back. I'm going, is there somebody else in the room? She goes, no, it's the phone. It's amazing. I'm going, oh, no. The only thing I know about Gs are G-force, G-strings, and... <laughs> G spot. I don't know what to say. But as a matter of fact, G whiz, I really don't know much about that either. <laughs> you know, at, at, at my age, oh god, I think about my health all the time. You know, I really gotta get some rest. 
What I started to do is I read the warning signs on, on, the, on the side of all these over-the-counter sleep aids that you can buy. And I mean, I totally understand it. You know, we've all got to have our regulations. The Drug Administration's got their concerns. I'm with it. But don't drive heavy machinery. This might make you weary. Give me two. It's a sleep aid. And <laughs> the older I get, the closer I get to retirement. I think about this all the time. I gotta get a new hobby. My hobby for the last 40 years has been drinking beer and putting down the toilet seat. I've got a bad back. It's getting harder all the time to put down that toilet seat. I am not, I am not ashamed to admit it, but I absolutely love television. You know, my favorite show, Golden Girls, they're really hot. <laughs> Especially the ones that are living. <laughs> so, I'm at the point in my life where I've decided that I want to really go down. When people say Gary Essex, they're going to think of Leonardo da Vinci. They're going to think of... Oh my gosh, they're going to think of Alexander Graham Bell. They're going to think of the great ones. I'm going to leave a legacy. What I'm going to do is dedicate my retirement years to figure out how to get the TV shows the same volume as the commercials. Yeah? Yeah? You like that? As we all know, there's only two things in life that are certain, right? One is taxes. What's the other? Debt. Debt. My mom is 93 years old. My father passed away at 86. I'm 60 years old. I could have a long life and have a big, wait, I'm adopted. I forgot, <laughs> I must be getting old. Oh, There's two things also, we will never know when we're gonna die and we'll never know what we're gonna die of. But if I had my druthers, I'd like to die under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> Let the Inquisition begin. Thank you, hope you enjoyed it.